Perfect. So here we go, here's your lovely new caravan. Um, as I've already said, I'll talk, talk you through all the features externally. Jump inside, we'll talk about everything inside. If you haven't got any questions at any point, please feel free just to stop and ask away. So, on the very front, um, obviously your stabiliser hitch on the front, so it needs to be a grease-free and a paint-free tow ball. Then, your main hitch underneath, your breakaway cable. Handbrake is as easy as, handbrake off, handbrake on. Simple as that, no buttons or anything, obviously. Raise and, um, wind up and down on the jockey wheel and then raise and lower off the handle on the side. Then obviously 13 pin for your lights and your electrics. And then ATC, have you had ATC before? Yeah. yeah. Are you happy with the lights on the ATC? Yeah. So, well, so when you initially put... Degrees. Yeah, perfect. I'll just talk about red lights. Please don't be alarmed by this, but if you're ever plugging it in and you've got a constant red light that's not clearing, first thing to try is just unplug it from the car, leave it 10 seconds, plug it back in again. If you've tried that a couple of times and the red light's not clearing, next thing you can try is leave it plugged into the car but uncouple it and just see if you can rock the van. Obviously if you can rock the van it means the brakes aren't engaged, it means you can tow, it just means your ATC system isn't working. But then on the other hand, if you uncouple it off the car, you can't move it, brakes are locked on, it's a definite no tow. But don't be alarmed by that, it's only just in case you keep your van for 10 years say, it may be a problem in the future, but I haven't heard of anyone ever having any problems with it, I'd just like to give you that information. So, into the gas locker on the front. So, obviously, your spare wheels inside the front for you. And then this is your gas bottle. And then I've already fitted you on a brand new pigtail. So, your yeah. gas system's ready to go. Is that switched off? That's it's, on, it's on currently. Oh, right. Yeah, it's on currently. It was only just so I can test the systems. And I'll just show you everything lighting inside just so you're happy your gas systems are working. Now, for gas on and off, it's just from the bottle. There is a shut off valve at the back here. But yeah. that's more use for the guys when they're safe checking your van. So for yourselves, just switch your gas on and off directly off from the lot. Well, I always disconnect it anyway. Because I yeah. always think if ever you have an accident and it's... <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. As long as you've got it switched off, sure. that's perfectly fine. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about disconnecting it. But as long as you've turned the bottle off, you're perfectly fine with that. Right. Okay. That's about it for the front end, unless you've got any other questions. No. No? Lovely. So, we'll move on down the side. So, obviously, your front legs are both on the sides of the caravan and George has fitted your lovely plastic feet for you so you've got your feet on all your legs as well. Right. Uh, Aldi, have you had an Aldi heating system before? No. No. no? So what the Aldi heating system is, it's, it does your central heating, I don't mind, <laughs> does your central heating as well as your 10 litre hot water boiler so it's all integrated in the same unit for you. And the system will run on gas, electric, or gas and electric at the same time, no cover to remove or anything. All it is is not to lean anything up against this bit of the van because obviously a lot of heat can be exchanged um, out of it. Next one down, your water inlet, just as easy as squeeze the trigger and pop her off. And then on the bottom there, there's just your particle filter. Okay, so you just simply drop it in and then push until she clicks. That's yeah. it, as easy as that. So, next one down, you've got your leisure battery fitted in and ready to go for you. Yeah. So that's all connected. And then next door, you've got your 240, you've got your mains hook up. And then just below it here, right to the goes, you've got an external aerial feed here, or satellite. So if you've got satellite or TV on the post, you can simply run a cable from the post to here, and I'll show you where it comes out inside the van. Right. Okay. So currently this is set up for satellite, but you can get a little screw fitting that fits into there, so you can turn that into a TV aerial. Right. So you can run either satellite or a TV feed through there. Okay. So I'll keep coming down. Apologies about the stuff. They've just come and moved some uh, sand out the back for our uh, posh new site. Um, obviously where your bucket is, is your two waste outlets. Yeah. And then, have you had a flush tank before? Yeah. Yeah, so you're happy, water and your pink solution in the top. Yeah. And then obviously below, I recognise this one, your yes. lovely toilet cassette. So, you have yeah, got, yeah, obviously blue in here, and then it is a lovely trolley dolly one, so you can mince your way off to the toilet when you <laughs> empty it. Okay, you're happy with the use of the cassette? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So, obviously, drain off for your tank. So easy, just sits in a rubber hose yeah. at the top up there. Yeah, the other one's dry. I drained it down, you know, the wind. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, the only advice I'd say on that, if you have filled it up and not used your toilet, I would drain the majority of it off before you get on the road, because there is a small chance it could slosh out inside the van for when you're travelling. So, if you have filled it up and hardly used it, I'd probably drain Not some off pink. just for the pink liquid, yeah. yeah, just in the top. Yeah. Just drain it off before you get on the road. Okay, lovely. So, we'll mosey on round the back. So, round the back, all the new vans come as standard now with the templates for a bike rack. So if you did want to add one, it's a lot cheaper to add one to this 
than it is to obviously get these, but I'm angry by cracks, that's all it is. Hopefully that's your number plate. Yeah. yeah. Happy days. And then obviously your two back legs are both on the back end for you. And you can see the lovely plastic feet that George has put on there for you. Right on the end, yeah, yeah, just on the end there. Nice. Okay. So, moving on down the side. Come to your door first, so your door is lovely. Magnetised. Yeah, no. Nice. So no silly catches or anything to break yeah. off. All it is is just a gentle tug and you can pull it away from the wall. So, next one down. Fridge vents, not much too exciting to say about them. Obviously heat is exchanged out the back. And if you do run your fridge on the gas, um, it gets a lot hotter on this side because that's obviously just where the um, gas fumes come out. Um, wheels and tyres, put all the information on the door here for us. So it's 61 psi per tyre, yeah. and then it's 130 newton metres for your wheel nuts. Now for your wheel nuts, if you talked in the PDI, I will check them again for you today. But then from today onwards, it's down to yourselves to be checking. So please, before you set off on a journey, Either use your tyre iron or a torque wrench if you've got one and just make sure you will nice and tight before you uh, set off on the road. Okay, right. then we've got external 240. Yeah. So external electric. Then in your side cupboard. <coughs> Inside here, the main thing I'll talk about is your alarm box here. Right. So you've got a tilt sensor as well as a motion sensor internally. So, um, once your alarm system's set, if anyone lifts your van up in the air, they'll also trigger the alarm. Also, if anyone moves around inside the van, it'll trigger the alarm system as well. And it's got its own battery supply in there, so when it's fully charged, it'll last three months standalone. So even if I take all your other batteries away, you've got three months worth of life for your, for your alarm system. Okay? But obviously with your leisure battery and the solar panel, yeah. um, it's indefinite really. As long as a bit of light can get to your solar panel to keep your battery going. Okay. Well, I have it plugged in all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine on that. And uh, last but not least, external barbecue point. Right. So, for the barbecue points, there was some that were on recall. Um, if it's one that needed changing, we have already changed it for you. But obviously, if you receive anything off Swift, or as you leave today, please feel free to pick the phone up and speak to our service department just for your own peace of mind. But I do know that everything that needed changing has been changed. So, our barbecue thing won't fit.